Hello. As if the exceptional cold spell at the beginning of March wasn't enough, another serious cold snap is on the way this weekend. Siberian winds return, turning things much colder once again. Bitter wind chill as well as hard overnight frosts. And by Saturday, it will be cold enough across the UK for anything falling out of the sky to be snowfall. However, that snow will be highly variable. For some, we're likely to see disruptive snowfall. Others, will barely see a flake, particularly towards the northwest of the UK. And it's worth mentioning at this point that in terms of longevity of this cold spell and severity, it doesn't quite match the one at the beginning of the month. But it's still unusual for the middle of March to be talking about this kind of cold weather and snowfall. It's actually rain on Thursday afternoon that is the main issue. And mainly it's rain across eastern parts of the country. It's a rain band that stalled here and it will continue throughout the rest of Thursday and into Friday. Combined with a strong to gale force easterly wind, a miserable Thursday and Friday to come in this part of the world. Now, at this stage, the snowfall mainly confined to the tops of the Scottish mountains, but that easterly wind will drag colder and colder air in from the east as we go through Thursday and Friday. And later Friday, we'll start to see the snow come down to the tops of the English mountains as well in the east of England. And this is all related if we zoom out to a large area of high pressure over Scandinavia. It's a similar situation to what we saw at the beginning of March. Easterly winds all the way from Siberia starting to bully their way into parts of the UK, carrying with them very cold air. This is late Friday and you can see the cold air just into the far northeast of Britain at this stage. But if we run the clock forward, uh, you can see that cold air starts to push much more widely westwards. And as that happens, well, it's going to turn increasingly cold throughout the weekend. And that cold air brings with it the risk of snowfall. By the start of Saturday, we're likely to see the snow coming down to low levels from eastern Scotland all the way across to eastern England. Patchy snowfall building up at lower levels at this stage, a few centimetres over the hills. Further west, it's mainly rainfall, but uh, even in the west, we'll see the snow showers start to push their way in by the end of Saturday. Now, these snow showers will be accompanied by a strong easterly wind. That's going to make it feel raw outside. Maximum daytime temperatures this weekend will be barely above freezing, but when you add that wind chill, minus five to minus eight. That's what it will feel like. But you can see the dotty nature of these snow showers. And well, that means that snow amounts will be highly variable because they come in the form of showers. Most of them will be impacting eastern parts of Britain. And if we take a look at say West Wales, Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, barely a flake here during Saturday. However, it's Eastern England that we're likely to see that snow building up, especially through Saturday. And it's across eastern England, as well as eastern Scotland, that we have a yellow warning in force. Now, in this general area, snow showers will build up one to three centimetres in places, with five to ten centimetres on hills. Later on Saturday, we'll see snow showers streaming together, particularly for parts of East Anglia and the southeast. And a bit like the beginning of the last cold spell, well, some places we'll see substantially more than others, perhaps as much as five centimetres or more in places. That's Friday night and into Saturday. But into Sunday, the focus for snowfall turns a little bit further south. High pressure, still in charge of our weather, moves more towards northern Scotland. And as a result, well, that high pressure will help to kill off some of the showers in the north. But the showers will continue to stream in across central and eastern parts of Britain in particular. And at this stage, there's a bit of uncertainty because you'll notice a, a little kink in the isobars in the south. Now, this represents an area of low pressure, fairly close to a low pressure towards the Mediterranean. And that low pressure, in some computer model solutions, wants to push a weather front into southern parts of Britain. In other weather computer models, it doesn't. And so there's an element of doubt here in terms of whether we'll see a more persistent spell of snow across South Wales into southern and central parts of England through Sunday. The more likely case through Sunday is for snow showers to continue to pile in across the southern half of Britain and continue to build up highly variable amounts from place to place. That's enough to cause some disruption in itself. But 
a less likely idea is that we'll see more persistent snowfall push in across southern parts of England as well as South Wales during Sunday and that could bring a more substantial disruptive snow event. So weather warnings again are in force for Sunday and it's in this general area that there's a 70% chance that many places will have one to three centimetres of snow building up in the form of showers. Five centimetres in places but a less likely higher impact event would be 30% chance that we'll see two to five centimetres of snowfall building up widely across South Wales and southern and central parts of England, say in this general area. And if that happens, as well as more snow over the hills, that would cause significant disruptions. So that's certainly something we're keeping a close eye on here at the Met Office over the next few days. We'll refine the details and we will update our warnings. So significant disruption in places through the weekend from snowfall, but as we go into next week, well, things start to settle down. The high pressure in the north starts to push more widely across the UK. Snow showers disappear and we cut off that cold draft from Siberia. As a result, slowly into next week, we'll lose those hard frosts, we'll lose the snowfall, and by Wednesday, many places will see temperatures returning to around normal. But an awful lot happening over the next few days, of course, disruption is likely in some places, and that bitter wind chill could cause concern for vulnerable people in society. So definitely something to uh, keep watching and uh, keep up to date with all the developments. You can do that by following us on the Met Office website, by downloading our app and by following us on social media. Take care.